Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we will be looking at branches of geography. There are three main branches of geography, and they are physical geography, human geography, and quantitative geography. Stay on the bus with me while we examine these branches of geography. Let's look at physical geography. This has to do with the study of natural features and system on the earth. This includes the earth's atmosphere, oceans, landforms, and hazards such as volcanoes and earthquake. So now, remember, when we're talking about physical geography, it is a natural aspect of geography that we are looking at. So anything that was created naturally or anything that was created by God that we have no control over will fall under physical geography. So physical geography deals with everything that is natural, the natural features and the natural systems. Then we have human geography, which deals with the study of people and their interaction with the environment. This includes the way people live in the physical environment, their cultural activities, and how they use the Earth's resources. For example, let's look at two examples. There's an image there with a father and his kids. They are farming. So they are using the soil, which is a natural resource, to grow food so that they can eat. All right, so we need food so that we can survive. So that, that is one way how we can interact with our natural environment. Another example we can look at is we cut down trees so that we can build our homes and schools and make furniture so as to make ourselves comfortable. All right, so all of these things will fall under human geography. Again, human geography is the way we interact with our environment. All right. Last but not least, we have quantitative geography. And this deals with the use of maps and measurement to give geographical information. Making and studying maps, collecting and analyzing data, measuring distances, and giving directions. Now that we have come to the end, oh, I really do hope that you did enjoy this short video on the branches of geography. So what I want you to do now, I want you to answer these two questions and place your answers in the comment section below. Also, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it or if you learn at least one thing from this video. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.